Hello team, welcome to our channel. So first I would like to thank you all my viewers who continuously viewing this video and comment and subscribe my channel. So thank you guys. Thank you for your support and uh, again thank you. So let's start with today's topic. So in this video we will discuss some important concept of IPL like uh, some family member like uh, master uh, jcl xx command xx uh, clock xx member what is console xx member so here we discuss one by one so let's start so first one is mst jcl xx member so what is this so this mst jcl xx family member contains the master scheduler job control language that means jcl and that JCL system initialized and processing. The advantage of placing the master JCL in the MST JCL palm leaf member is that it's easy to make change to uh, master JCL and no need to reassemble and link edit the modules. If you specify the master JCL in uh, MST JCL XX module in link leaf, you must reassemble the module and link it into the system each time a uh, change is mode like a uh, mst jsl xx member of the sys1 dot palm leaf uh, and uh, uh, mst jsl xx module in the sys1 dot link list and in this system find the mst jsl xx palm leaf member it is used for the jsl in the member of start the master scheduler address space if a system does not find the MST JSL XX palm leaf member, it uses the JSL in the MST JSL XX module in the link leaf. So our next uh, palm leaf member is the clock XX member. So now we understand what is the clock's XX member. So clock XX member is a prompt to operate to initialize the TOD. TOD that means time of day and uh, specifies the difference between the local time and coordinate the universal time that is UTC during the system initialization. So clock XX palm leaf member is invoked from the IES XX palm leaf member as a clock is equal to 00. zero. IBM supplied Default clock 00, 00 contains some parameters like uh, operator no prompt, time zone uh, here e, e.00 or uh, in default we use w.00.00.00 and uh, ETR mode, ETR mode is yes, there is different type of uh, mode like uh, ETR zone, STP mode, STP zone, time del and all. So now we need to understand what is prompt. So prompt specify that the system is to prompt the operator during the TOD initialization. TOD initialization that means time of day initialization. Here operator mentioned no prompt. So what is no prompt? So no prompt specifies that system is not to prompt the operator during TOD initialization unless the clock is not set. Now we need to understand what is time zone. Here it's mentioned E dot 00 dot 00 dot 00. So what is this? So it specifies the difference between the local time and the coordinate universal time. In short, we call as UTC. So now we need to understand why we use E. What is the value of E? So value range of E stands for E for East UTC. If time zone mentioned W, that means it's a west of UTC. Default, we use W. Okay. So, value range is different for our HH. Uh, it must be 0, 0 to 23 and uh, for minute and second, uh, uh, we use mm and ss for uh, 0, 0 to 59 so clock xx contain the uh, utilization of ibm sysplex timer which is an external timer reference which we called etr here it shows na etr mode is equal to no 
ETR mode is defined no. So ETR is the external time difference. Having all the system in your uh, complex uh, attached and synchronized to a system, Sysplex timer ensured a uh, accurate sequencing and uh, serializing of the event. S uh, server time uh, protocol. In server time protocol, in short, we called as STP. So, STP defines the method by which multiple servers maintain the synchronization. So, clock XX here, one thing we need to understand the parameter of uh, parameter that contains like ETR mode is yes. So, what is means ETR in this screenshot, it shows like no, but if it's mentioned yes. It means it specifies that the MVS is to use the Sysplex timer for TOD. If ETR mode yes and an operational Sysplex timer is not available, the operator will be prompt to set the TOD. If it's mentioned ETR mode is no, that means it specifies that the MVS is not to use the Sysplex timer for TOD. If there is different term is uh, STP mode yes. If uh, it's defined yes, that means MVS is to use the STP timing. And when it shows like STP mode is no, that means it's specified the MVS is not to use STP timing mode. And by default, it is yes. I hope the, you understand this topic. So our next topic is command XX. So command XX is an optional installation created list of automatic commands the system internally issue as a part of a system initialization command xx is useful for automatic entry of commands that are frequently used as the system initialization you cannot use this member to issue a just command because just is a not started when the system issues the command xx command so here com uh, com stands for the command and uh, this is a specified command which uh, will be issued by the system during the installation and default values a uh, no command will be issued the nucleus xx member allows you to load and installation of the supplied module into the system and you can use nucleus xx to add your installation modules to nucleus region delete nucleus resident modules and replace them with the alternate version of the modules so this is the command xx so our next topic is console xx so first we need to understand what is console so console is a display device like a monitor or a keyboard or is a terminal attached to a mini computer or a mainframe is used to monitor the status of the symbol system and you already know hmc that means the hardware management console so hmc is also used in a desktop or a personal computer to monitor and control the system so console xx is used to define the console configuration to meet a particular needs of your installation in console xx you need to define the multiple support system that means mcs and sna console you can define up to 99 mcs and uh, smcs console and one system console that means total you need to define 100 so while the master console is a principle that means to communicate with the system or a other mcs console after a serve specialized function console chains can made through the control set vary command in previous video we already understand what is the vary con uh, set or uh, control command the operator entered a vary and uh, console or uh, we define like auth is equal to sys or master to given the console for the higher authority if console is only one number and changed made through the control set or a very command last only for the current ipl or a temporary so console indicates the big beginning of the system statement like uh, it's 
console device name here the device number is defined so device num is a specialized the device number of the console uh, same as a hcd and uh, next is the subsystem so subsystem indicates uh, this is a console is reserved for the specific subsystems and here also alternate alternate uh, that means it specifies the device number like uh, 3110 uh, in a control name as the alternate console also it speci specifies the name of alternate group alt group here defined that there is the console failure when there is any failure at that time it's a uh, come up and the console access can be invoked through the IESIS XX that is a IESIS XX and here console is equal to 00.